I am over the moon right now because today I'm sitting down and I'm filming what's possibly got to be the most beautiful, magical thrift haul that I've ever done in my entire life. And actually some of these pieces aren't thrifted, some of them are from more sustainable brands, but as always, I kept that to a minimum because you know, I love thrifting. It's my favorite pastime. I am honestly just so happy with everything that I have here and I hope that it can inspire those of you guys that are going back to school because I remember back when I was in high school, every year I would go with my mom to the mall and I would always ask myself, what is the Diana I'm trying to put out into the world? Everything in this hall has its own story to tell and it's just so beautiful in its own way. So let's just, let's get into it. Actually, before I get into the clothes, I did want to quickly show you guys some decor stuff slash random things that I found in the Homer section. The first piece is this beautiful plant pot that you can actually stick on your wall and it has these hand painted flowers on it with these little light blue hues and it was handmade in Santorini by a man named Sebasti and it was only $4, which is crazy because I can picture this at Anthropology for like $30 or something. I've just been obsessed with adding little vintage pieces onto my walls because I think that it just gives your space character and it makes it feel very homey. I've been propagating some pothos plants, so I think I'm gonna stick one in here and like, you know, add some life to the piece because it's already so beautiful. Next up, I have this pasta maker which honestly I'm the most excited about because I've been wanting to invest in this for so long. And it's not for making delicious pasta. I'm actually going to be using this for my polymer clay and this was the last tool that I needed so that I could start creating things because this makes clay a lot more malleable and easy to work with. I've been wanting to invest in this for the longest time but it costs about 60 to $70. So I was just waiting for the right moment and then I saw it at the Goodwill for $15. It was meant to be. I have a miraculous pair of jeans and I'm not even exaggerating you guys. I have a significantly bigger hip width than my waist and so and then I tried these on I thought they were vintage because they're super high-waisted and they have like a really nice sturdy quality to them that I really enjoy they still actually sell these online so I'm thinking of investing in these it hugs every single curve and shape on my body and it really helps elongate my legs, which is something that never happens with any pair of jeans that I have. I only got these for $15, but online they're like 98, which is kind of expensive. But if you are looking into investing a pair of jeans that actually fits you, these are the ones. And then I've also got another little denim piece. When I first tried this on, I felt like a mom about to go pick up their kids from soccer practice. But once I got over that idea, I realized that it fits me like a glove, honestly. It just fits in a very relaxed way. I also really like the very pointed collar because it just kind of gives it a little bit of an edge. But it's from The Gap and I think I got this one for $5.99. I could be wrong. And then it was also half off that day. So hot up here. <laughs> I tried filming this earlier but then we had some AC guys come here to check the place out since it's so hot. Next up, I have this very simple collared shirt and I wasn't gonna get this because it is kind of frumpy on me, but once I tried on a couple of blazers on top of it, I realized that this is a perfect little layering piece to have for the fall time. It's also incredibly soft, you guys. Like, I can't stop touching it because it feels so comfortable to the body. On my like more casual days, I do like to wear a crew neck basic t-shirt and I think this is a really great way to change things up a little bit. Then I found this beauty right here. I don't know why, but every time fall hits, I always end up going straight for things that look very collegiate and like streamlined, put together. And this, this just did it for me. It looks very sophisticated. It has the perfect color palette for the fall time. And I couldn't leave this one behind. I could just see myself wearing this with that collar shirt I showed you guys before and a nice pair of jeans or something it would just look amazing. Just perfect. I, I can already picture it. I don't think y'all are ready for this next piece. When I saw it on the rack, this right here is what it looked like, which isn't bad. It has a nice like neutral color to it. But then I noticed that it has these buttons on the inside and then these pockets. And so I flipped it over and... Do you guys see this? I was shook when I tried this on. It's so loud. 
they keep saying that but it's really hard to find things at thrift stores that actually fit you well because there's so many sizes you did see a very uncanny resemblance to my quilt it has these like saturated oranges and pinks and blues not to mention that the entire body is completely quilted and has this gorgeous texture to it although the colors are very vibrant I do think that it kind of works for the fall time because they're a little bit more warm toned but you know what I don't care I'll still wear florals in the fall with like maybe a turtleneck underneath or a t-shirt or a blouse or whatever I'm feeling like that day because this would go with almost anything what do you think so really? Just picture this in Brooklyn. I don't know why. It just makes it a lot cooler. Like, yeah. I'm I'm the artist of the gallery. Oh, when you put it like that. All right. Yeah. yeah. Don't fall out. And it only cost me ten dollars, you guys. Two jackets for ten dollars. That's. Unheard of. I do have a couple of things that were sent to me from these really lovely ladies over on Instagram. They have their own secondhand vintage shops. The first little shop that I wanted to mention is Lunaris Vintage. It has this pop art 60s fruit print with some citrus fruits. I've been wearing this a ton to go out with Roger, do some errands around town, but this is just a really great way to kind of add a little pep in my stuff. I will say though that one thing I noticed about her shop is that most of her pieces are very neutral and have more more of like a modern vintage look. And then we've also got Shop Berries, which is honestly just making waves on Instagram. I've just been in awe with the representation for plus size women because personally, whenever I go to any sort of curated vintage shop, I only really see them catering to women that are more on the smaller side. I love that they have plus size women modeling their clothing all over their Instagram and that the owner herself is very passionate about what she does. This is what she sent me. <laughs> I know it's pretty wild huh it kind of reminds me of like those slot machine fruits like I just see myself wearing this to like the city or something with a little Susan Alexander bag if I could afford one and I would be complete this sweater is amazing I know a lot of you guys are gonna be staring at me like Damn, really? but every once in a while I do get in my moods where I feel like wearing something fruity and colorful so this is gonna be a nice go-to for me on those days I almost completely forgot after I went to the Goodwill I actually went into no new vintage which is a vintage shop in like Dumont I believe I'll leave their address down below that place is just a treasure trove you guys they have things from furniture to like little knickknacks you can even take your boyfriend there because they also have a lot of vintage men's clothes the shop owner was also so sweet he kept just like putting things on me and trying to see what looked good on my body and he was always like really on point with things that like I wouldn't even see myself wearing but I really enjoyed on myself as well if you happen to live in the New Jersey area I highly recommend them because they're a lot more affordable than a lot of the vintage stores in Brooklyn. In fact, all of these things that I have here averaged out to like about $33 each. The first little thing you put on me is this jacket. I honestly don't normally wear this kind of animal print because it's a little bit, you know, different than my usual take on clothes but the neutrals definitely work really well for the fall time and I really love the fit of it. It's a little bit cropped and then the sleeves just fit so nicely. It's a very comfortable jacket for what it is and I think this would be a great piece to wear on more of an elegant occasion, definitely. I really wasn't gonna take it because it is very different from my style, but he wanted to give it to me as a gift and he told me that if he gave it to me, I had to promise to actually wear it, which was honestly just one of the sweetest things ever because I've never had somebody just give something to me simply because they felt like it looked good on me. I also found a much needed pair of trousers because, you know, I thrifted some a couple months ago, but Roger thought it would be cute to put them in the dryer and they shrunk. So I got these. First of all, look at all the colors that it has. They are a little bit tight around my hips, but it's okay. They zipped up. It's fine. Gotta love yourself sometimes, you know? It's very important. They are perfectly high-waisted and perfectly belled and so retro. I can see myself wearing this in every single fall outfit that I have. And my absolute favorite thing to have found that day is this stunning dress. I don't know how else to describe it. Super Rococo looking, but with like a really short hem. And it smells like a dusty closet but I couldn't pass it up because it's actually in really great condition and it's made out of this gorgeous seersucker. <coughs> I'm not even kidding, this is really dusty. It has all these flowers on it and some butterflies. It's very dainty. And then along the neckline, it has this ruffling with this little lace 
detailing. I just got these in the mail and I really wanted to show them to you guys because they're so cute. Look at them. They're Winnie the Pooh shorts. Got them on Depop from this seller right here. Don't remember her name, but she was really sweet and like kept measuring them to make sure that they fit me and they fit perfectly too. I wanted to show them to you guys because I will probably be wearing them for the remainder of the summer. Look at the little Pooh Bear embroidery. And then it has these little straps on the sides. Super cute. Yeah. This haul such a mess. I was on the Lisa Says Goss site the other day and it also happened to be my birthday week so I did a little bit of a splurge because they were having a sale that I could not refuse. They also happened to offer a bunch of different brands from Europe and stuff and one of my favorite designers, Paloma Wool, had something on sale. I found this stunning lime green jacket that is seriously everything. It has a saturated color, but it also has my new love for all things quilted. Could definitely wear it on its own because it's very lightweight. I think this actually originally retailed for like $300 and I got it for about $140, which I know is a lot, but I have it on Afterpay. To be able to own something that was handmade with love ethically and by a designer is definitely something that I've always wanted to do on my own. So it's really nice to just, you know, be able to hit up the sales and be able to kind of afford something, you know what I'm saying? I've also been crushing on a brand named Paris 99 for a couple of years now, actually. I think they're more well known for their gingham cutout dresses. Let's just say Instagram ads are very dangerous because I was just, you know, minding my own business, scrolling on Instagram, and lo and behold, I saw one of their ads. I had no intention of actually buying anything, but of course, I got this and it's tied together with this very interesting trim along the waist here and also here on the sleeves and it is such a precious piece. I was kind of teeter-tottering between keeping it or giving it back. I'm very happy I ended up keeping it because I don't really have much special going out clothes. The piece that I wanted to show you guys was actually sent to me by this lovely girl named Megan who runs Cloud Hunter Co. I had had my eye on this for the longest time but she reached out to me to collaborate so I ordered it and honestly I'm in love with it. It's so beautiful. It has these gorgeous eyelet sleeves and it's lacing and then the back is all ruched. The sleeves were a little bit tight around the top here so I can't really wear this on my shoulders. I do kind of wear it off the shoulders though and then it fits fine. Personally it doesn't really bother me too much because I feel like I don't have enough off the shoulder tops. I don't know I could just see myself frolicking in like a random prairie or something with this top on although I probably wouldn't do it because deer ticks. And then for an everyday bag she sent over this gorgeous vegan cow leather one and it's just so precious. It looks very very small but it actually fits a lot like I could fit my camera in here wallets in here my lip glosses and I know you can find cow leather bags at thrift stores but I personally haven't had much luck thank you so so much Megan I know that was a lot but these are all the things that are gonna be going into my closet from now on and I'm gonna have to clear a lot of the things that I do have out as I always say I really enjoy talking to you guys in the comments so leave me some love down below you know just let me know your favorite piece or how you're doing or whatever it may be I seriously love talking to you guys but if you happen to be new here and you enjoy watching thrift hauls as much as I enjoy making them make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I upload and there's a bird outside that totally just distracted me of course and the cicadas <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna go now I love y'all so much and I will see y'all in the next video bye